Hello everybody and welcome to a, another video, something slightly different. I say that every video, but every video is different because of this one, especially so, because we're going to have a look at a lovely utility on the iPad called Fourscore. Um, Fourscore is great for that gigging musician that needs sheet music. And I'm one of those because some of you may already know that apart from being an electronic musician, I am a pipe organist. Uh, I play quite regular, a um, couple of times a week, and I need sheet music, lots of it. And it's an absolute pain to carry books and folders and loose sheets of music around. You have to need like a truck sometimes to carry what you need. So what I did is I invested in an iPad some time ago. Uh, this is what you're looking at now is the M1 version of the iPad, the latest one, uh, 12.1 inch one, uh, iPad Pro. Uh, I got the original iPad Pro when it first came out and started to put my sheet music on there and I've never looked back. It's absolutely fantastic. And you know, on here I have absolutely tons of music. I have over 30,000 pieces, uh, easy. And before anybody screams copyright, don't worry, all of this is completely copyright free. How is that? Well, I get it from a website called imslp.org. That's India, Mike, Sierra, Lima, Papa, uh, org, and I will leak, leave a link to it in the description below. It's all copyright, public domain music that you can download for free. It's, it's, uh, you've got every instrument you can think of. It's like for piano, organ, orchestra, voice, guitar, horns, you name it, it'll, an instrument, it will have something on there for you. Um, and they come in various sort of, sort of clarities. I tend to go for these wonderful typesetted PDF versions by a guy called Pierre Guin. Um, I think he's in Canada, and his typesetting is absolutely fantastic. And so basically, Fourscore allows me to put all my music library on an iPad. It's backed up in the iCloud. It's backed up onto my local NAS server as well. So um, absolutely fantastic. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Um, so. You can also set it, these me music into set lists. See, I've got things for weddings, funerals, so everything I'll play at a funeral. I won't play everything, but it, I can skip between pieces. I've got stuff there at hand, uh, like weddings. Weddings, you never know how long you're going to play for at the beginning because the bride could be late. I've had them 40 minutes late, which is absolutely ridiculous. I think the worst one was in about an hour, and I was just like, playing and playing and playing and playing um, and thankfully I had all this with me so and then once if I ran out of that I had all these to go out as well so it, it was absolutely fantastic and now if I just had my books with me my sh loose sheet music I'd run out quite easily uh, you can actually then also uh, bookmark things so if I go into here yeah there we go I've bookmarked a piece air from water music so it's from Handel's water music and the beauty of this is, although it's in a whole book, I've only need two pages and it will only go to those two pages. It won't let me go past those two pages, which is absolutely fantastic. So don't turn too many over at once. Um, see, because that's the whole book. But then if I want to go into just that piece, there we go. Fantastic. So I've got set lists. I've got them for flower festivals. Yes, I do it. Yes, to play at flower festivals that are held in churches, etc. Um, and strange occasions, so you get people talking, which you would expect, but then you get some people intently listening to what you're doing and playing, which is really, really nice. Do you get the odd distraction where people actually come up to the console and try and have a conversation with you when you're trying to play? Something quite difficult, which is always fun to try and politely delay the conversation until the end of the piece. But that's that's a whole another story. I could fill a book of stories about organists, I tell you. Um, as I say, I've got my running visual uh, running list now for these to visual all set up, sat there. So I've got them all categorised in the composers. I tend to use genres and tags to easily find pieces. So I can go into here and say I want uh, I want a fugue. So if I do a fugue, there you go, genres fugue. Oops. Um, search results. There we go. So I've only tagged two as a fugue. Uh, there's, a, there's a few more in there. I haven't got around to tagging absolutely everything, but these are the tags I've got. 
preludes, voluntaries, well, sorry, the genres, but if we're going to tags, I have tagged and used tags for fugue. I thought I had a more fugues tagged, because I, I tend to like a good fugue now and again. Um, if I, say, wanted to make note for myself of what organ stops to use, dead easy. I'll go in there, press this bit where it says A with a little hash next to it, and click on anywhere on the, um, on the screen, and type in, I don't know, eight foot flute. Fleur? What's a fleur? Four foot flute. There we go. So I've done that. Brilliant. Done. So it's there. So instruction there is I want to play air from water music and before I set off I know to set my settings as an eight foot flute and a four foot flute. Um, if you go to a different organ and you think, ooh, don't have any of those stops, you can just clear it and start again. So absolutely fantastic little app this. Uh, and if you want to know more about not just how I use it but all the other bits in between, then leave a comment in the description in the comments below and I will certainly look at doing a little series of videos on how to use Fourscore. Now to move pages, um, you can't really see it because I'm just because I'm just recording the screen of the iPad. But I'm just going to go into something that's got a few pieces. Ah, there we've got eight pieces. So I just tap the right hand screen side of the screen and the left hand side of the screen to move backwards and forwards, which is quite easy if if you're if you're uh, an organist and or a pianist, you, you or any instrumentalist really, you're used to turning your own pages over on on with the paper. But you just tap the side of the screen. Now there is a great thing with four scoring on subscription uh, subscription based though, unfortunately. For a couple of quid a month, you get the ability to automate the page turns by just curling the, your lip. So if you curl your right side of your lip, you move the page forward, curl the left side of your lip, you move your page backwards. Which was all well and good, but then COVID struck and you had to wear a mask. Um, as you can imagine, it didn't work very well after that. Uh, I never bothered with subscription because I'm, I'm, I'm used to moving my hands all over the place. But you can get Bluetooth toe studs as well in organs um, that sort of will link to Bluetooth and allow you to push pages backwards and forwards with just with your feet, which which is which is handy. You can do it with a little pedals as well, Bluetooth. I think it's an AirPlay pedal. You can do that. So if you're a pianist, you, you can actually uh, have room to put a little pedal next to your sustain pedal, say, to move things forwards and backwards. Uh, you can't really do that on an organ because I, I, I need my feet for the pedals um, so yeah it uh, gets very interesting otherwise so there we go this is Fourscore fantastic app it's only available on iOS uh, on an iPad so I'm not sure of any Android equivalents but if you know of any Android equivalent again leave it in the comments below and share it so people know who are not on um, Apple products know what to do you know how to get something similar on an Android um, and oh, there's one thing I was going to say is to actually get music into Fourscore is dead easy if you're on an, if you're on the iPad, and that is just going to Safari, open MSLP, find your piece of music, click the share button, just send it to uh, send it to Fourscore, and it just basically imports it as a PDF. Done. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, so there we go. That's Fourscore. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, ding that bell so you know when the next video is going to be up and share it and don't forget if you haven't done already subscribe to the channel subscription means everything helps the youtube algorithm gets this channel a bit more well known and helps me to be able to provide you with more videos on fantastic utilities for the musician not just the electronic musician but for the gigging musician as well like fourscore and if like i say if you want to know more about fourscore and how to use it in great detail then by all means leave a comment in the uh, leave a comment below and I will certainly do a little series on how to use this. So there we go. I will catch you in the next one.